hi guys my name is chris from craft reactor and in this video i'm going to show you how to color grade videos i'm going to show you the steps i take in color grading my videos there's something you need to know that's the difference between color correction and color grading color correction has to do with balancing the highlights and the shadows and the exposures making sure that if the, the the shadows the highlights are balanced and then color grading has to do with balancing of colors interacting between colors it, to achieve better results in your color grading you have to shoot in a flat profile what is a flat profile a flat profile is a footage that has a dynamic a high dynamic range where you have to interact between the exposures, the highlights, the shadows, without losing details. It makes your video more cinematic because it gives you a wide angle of options to interact and to play with. Now, this is how this video looks straight out of camera. This is, I shot this with an M50. Now, this is how it looks out of camera. That's the S log. This is how it looks color corrected. And this is how it looks color graded so having known this let's jump straight into the tutorial and let's get started so this is the video um, this is my lumetri scopes so as you can see I'm, I'm going to drag in my contrast to this point and i'm gonna drag in my highlights i'm going to reduce the highlights and i'm going to reduce the shadows too to bring some details um i think this is um the color correction i think i've done my i've clearly done my color correction in this video i'm also going to go to my creative panel and increase the vibrance to this point and sharpen it then after that this is how it looks color corrected this is the color corrected version of the video after done after doing my color correction the next thing i'm going to do is the color grading i'm going to go to my hsl secondary and i'm going to take this um this uh, pointer and i'm going to go to my face I'm, sorry i'm going to go to her face not my face sorry i'm going to go to her face and click on it and i make sure this is checked to bring up the gray bring up the gray marks so i'm going to drag this i'm also going to go to the this point and drag i'll make sure that this has skin tones are properly selected i don't want to mess with our skin tones doing color grading so this is my color grading now i don't want to mess the reason i'm doing this is because i don't want to mess with our skin tones doing the color grading so um i think i have done a reasonable amount of masking here um every area has been selected except her skin so i'm going to denoise this and i'm going to add blur and i'm going to go to this color wheel the correction and drag this pointer down to the blues and I'm going to invert this and I'm going to uncheck the gray so as you can see this is what we have after dragging this to the across the blues um, the next thing to do is to as you can see it looks um, it looks hazy so in order to get this I'm going to in order to correct this I'm going to go to my contrast and I'm going to increase the contrast I'm going to sharpen it, add a little bit of saturation, and as you can see, it looks good now. So, um, 
I'm going to show you the before. This is how it looks after color correction. And this is how it looks in the color grade. So, um, the next thing to do is to touch up her face. As you can see, her face looks faded. There is no life in her face. There is no vibrance in her face. So, in order to achieve this, I'm going to go back to this Lumetri color. I'm going to click on it and add another Lumetri color. And I'm going to go to back to the HSL secondary. I'm going to take this key. I'm still going to click on her face, on her skin again. I'm going to check this to bring up the mask, the gray marks. And I'm going to increase this. I'm going to make sure that I select properly. Make sure that I select well and make sure that uh, her skin tones are properly covered as well. So having done that, I'm going to go to the noise, I'm going to go to blur, and I'm going to go to um, temperature. As you can see, her skin has been selected. I'm going to go to temperature and increase the temperature. The part that is that is not maxed out by the gray is the part that is affected. As you can see, I'm adding a little bit of temperature to her skin. I'm also going to add a little bit of contrast. And now make sure I drag this, this up. Because her skin looks a bit dark. Her skin looks a bit dark. So I'm going to drag this up to give a little bit of exposure to her skin. I'm going to increase the contrast. I'm going to sharpen it. I'm going to add a little bit of saturation, you know, just a touch. And having done this, this is what we have. Um, I'm also going to go to the. I'm also going to go back to the first lumetri color I created. I'm going to go to the curves. And I just want to add a little bit of contrast to this footage, to the general footage. Just a little bit of contrast. So, this is what we have. So, um, I'm going to go to the blues. I'm going to create three points. This is the shadow, this is the mid-tone, and this is the highlight. So, um, I'm going to add um, blues to the highlights. I just want to, I just want to touch up the sky a little bit. I just want to add that blue effect. I'm going to add up that blue color, that blue feel to the sky. You know, skies are blue. I just want to add, touch it up a little bit. And I'm going to go to the greens. I'm also going to do the same thing as I did in the blue channel. I'm going to create a point at the shadow, create a point at the mid-tones, and create a point at the highlights. And I'm also going to drag down the, the greens. I just want to remove some greens from the blues. I don't know how, I don't know if you, I don't know if you get that. I'm going to take down the greens a bit. I'm also going to go to the reds. Create a point on the shadows, create a point on the mid-tones, and create a point on the highlights. I'm also going to do the same thing and drag it down so that we have the perfect blue. A blue without a mixture of green or blue. That's the, that's the magic I'm doing. That's the tactics. So, that's it. If you feel it's okay, you can still reduce it. If you feel it so much, you can still reduce it. So I'm going to go to basic correction. I think something is wrong with the white. I need to take down. I need to um, take down the white a little bit. And there's so much white. I'm going to reduce the highlights further. So having done this, I'm going to go back to the um, curves and I want to make sure that this her blue dress is um, vibrant. So I'm going to click a point. I'm going to create a point. On the blues as you can see the blue ranges from this point to this point 
so i'm going to increase the saturation be careful not to overdo things so uh so having increased the saturation i'm also going to go to the to the greens i just want to do something to the to these um trees and the grasses here i'm going to go to this click here on this point and also click on this point so i'm um, also gonna um reduce it to saturation a bit the saturation of the greens a bit i'm gonna reduce them if you feel that the the points are not uh, the range of the greens are not um, covered enough you can still drag the points up to this point up to this place because there might be some yellows in the greens so so now this is a color grading proper this is what I, this is what we call color grading so having done that um i think i, I have this is okay um, this is okay i'm also going to go to the hue versus hue I'm going to go to the hue and um i'm going to click on this point and click on this point now i'm no longer dealing with the saturation I'm, I'm dealing with the the hues so you know you you at least you should know what what you want a color reading has to do with what you have in your head what whatever you have in your head make sure you play with curve you play with channel you play with buttons inside of Premiere pro to achieve that which is in your head so um i think this is fine this is fine um so i think this is very okay um if you feel that the, the blues are if you want to feel like you want to maybe um, to, um do something on the uh, white balance you can maybe the temperature you can still come over here and play with the temperature button i think this is fine for me um the temperature is to make it a little bit warm for it not be too for it not to be so blue vision you know so i think this is fine so um that's pretty much it that's color grading so this is um the before this is the before and this is the after so you can see the wonders of color grading this is the before and this is the after so before i go i will have to tell you that there's a difference between color correction and color grading color correction has to do with balancing the shadows and the highlights why the color grading has to do with interacting with colors you no know, playing with colors to achieve a desired look that's color grading and color grading isn't what you read it's what it's in your head you when you imagine something maybe you, you watch the movie you see the saw a movie and you like the color grading you can always go out there to practice this is how to get better you don't get better at one go you have to keep practicing to get better so if you like this video please hit the like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to get notified anytime i post a new tutorial my name is chris from crafts reactor and don't stop creating the world is yours paint it the way you like thank you